Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so today's video is pretty straightforward. It is what it says on the title. I'm just a baby girl that loves to plug you lot. So I will be plugging you guys with my top 20 must watch shows and movies on Netflix. The shows I'm about to mention, I swear to God, I've watched it more than twice. Like, it's one of them ones where you could literally watch again and again and again and again. If you keep saying that word, <laughs> If you can say that word again and again and again. Um, yeah, it's one of those shows you can watch over and over again and it never gets old or it never gets boring and you kind of forget what happens even though you know you've watched it to the end. That's how you know a show's good. Just get straight into the video. Okay, number one we have Orange is the New Black. Guys, the season finale just ended and I swear to God, I've never cried so much. I was literally crying. like. The amount of emotions that was going through my body. So I was laughing at some bits, I was crying at some bits, I was vexed at some bits like, Orange is the New Black, you've done me proud, baby girl. Okay, quick summary, if you don't know what it is, it's basically like prison, it's like life in prison. And I think it's been like seven seasons. So you can, you can like sort of guess how long it's been around for. Throughout the whole like seven seasons, you find out how all the main characters actually ended up in prison. And it's like, some of them is not their fault. Some of them, they're very stupid, stupid individuals. Some of them is like um, the system, like the welfare, like it's just, it's sort of like real life problems than what it's sick. It's not in order by the way, but second on my list is uh, Jane the Virgin. If you guys are Jane the Virgin lovers, I swear to God, yeah, you guys know how vexed Jane gets me. How can you cry every two seconds? Baby girl, she's a like big woman as well, you know? She's got a you and everything. And this girl is just crying over every, oh my God, I can't. Yeah, I don't know who's worse, Jane or Lucy from Love Island. Come come to me after the new girls. Sorry. Basically, this show is. Oh, I can't even spoil it. I just can't. This is one of them shows you can't like explain what it's about because it'll ruin it. And that one season finale also finished like very recently. As I just watched it, and I swear to God, yeah, I can't even spoil it for you. But I have a headache every time I watch an episode. That's how you know a show is good because you shouldn't be feeling some type of way. Like <laughs> honestly, it's such a good show. And next we have Friday Night Dinners. Guys, hold on. Don't, don't shout at me because you lot are probably thinking like you haven't watched it and you haven't actually clicked on it but you've seen like the picture on Netflix and you've probably been uh, dead not watching that but I promise you it is the funniest show. <laughs> I just started you yeah, and I'm not gonna lie I'm only on like I think I just finished season one I'm going on season two yeah but it's about 25 minutes each episode and it goes like that. Like a British family and every Friday night they have like a dinner and it's just <laughs> the funniest thing you've ever like. It's basically, if you don't get comedy, you'll probably be like, this is dead, but I promise you, <laughs> it's funny, go watch it. Okay, so next we have you. Basically, more of the story is, is this guy and he literally becomes obs I say obsessed, like, he becomes obsessed with this girl and he just literally like stalks her and it ends up like um, kidnapping her. Okay, I'm ruining it, but more of the story is, it's so twisted, like, this guy Joe just tap, just a tapped individual. Head will be spinning. You just be like, what the hell happened throughout the whole season? Do you know what I mean? I promise you, you is a must watch, guys. Money heist, money flipping heist. Oh my god! Basically, they rob a bank. Um, I think the bank of Spain or something, and. Yeah, and then it's literally like the whole season is basically the inside of the bank. That's where, yeah, there's this hype where it's like, do you watch Money Heist in Spanish or in English with subtitles, vice versa? And I just don't understand because I watch it, I don't know, I watch it, I think I watch it in English and I look at the Spanish subtitles. But does that even make sense? Or well, maybe it's the other way around. Me, I don't know, but all I know is it's a good show, good show, good series, and you need to watch it. Recommend, ladies and gents, I recommend. This is the best show I've ever watched in my life, and I can literally put all my money on it. I don't have a lot of money, but all my money on it. I'm gonna give you two seconds to guess. Guess what the best show on Netflix is. Have you guessed it? You guessed it, you guessed it. Prison Break, guys. I know, you guessed it. You definitely was thinking that, so don't even lie. Prison Break is the best thing I've ever watched. You know when shows kind of drag for no reason because they don't really want to end? And then, like the ending, it came back with a bang and you're like, right, yeah, this is, this is what I've been waiting for. The whole, like, theory, the whole concept of it, like how he actually escapes from prison and 
it's just so good it's like so well thought and honestly you'd love it i say everyone watch it next we have how to get away with murder this is what makes me want to be a lawyer because baby girls this woman this annalise keating woman basically people are just killing killing people they're front and center and she's manages the panel and getting run out of jail she has like students she teaches she has like main characters is like what like five seven students that she teaches and everyone's got like a crazy life everyone ends up murdering people and she's just so patent that she gets them all like she patterns it she hides it and we just love Annalise we, lo we love the baby girl I saw this tweet yeah it was so funny it was like um oh my god what even was it it was something like Annalise is the only female that like backs off her wig when she's stressed or something and I, I thought it's so funny because it's, this woman will back off the wig anyhow anywhere and she's both we actually we love it we actually love to see a queen, you know what I mean? Next on my list is Bodyguard. Like the first episode is so like indulging, like it makes you wanna like, oh my god, I need to watch the rest. Um, so basically there's a terrorist attack, or a planned terrorist attack, and he ran me, he's like an ex-war veteran, and he manages to like stop the woman from literally bombing a train, like a moving train as well. And there's like obviously kids there, there's like so many people on the train, and he manages to like, calm her down and literally stop her from like bombing the train there's like being a bodyguard of like is it the mp or like a politician or something like he's very important and then they end up like it gets long what there is it sucks me in and I'm, i literally watched it like that there's only one season and it's so good and the ending of the season makes you think oh the cliffhanger boy boy next is good girls it's like three women and they all got like families they've all got kids and they end up robbing uh what would you even call it a convenience store like robbing a shop like say they robbed tesco or something cool so they robbed tesco now and they didn't mean to rob that much money they just needed like a little bit because they were all going through like money problems so it's very very deep and then they ended up being in a position where they were now literally criminals and I mean, the money laundering. I mean, we love to see it. Next, we have Stranger Things. So, Stranger Things, it literally says in the name, it's some spooky show. Like, it's like a sci fi. Sci fi is what you call it. Like, science y fictional. Yeah, sci fi. <laughs> Can't even explain. You literally have to watch it. It's just so much happens. The main character is like 11, and then she ends up being called like, is it L? I mean, I can't remember, but it's just like, you like, like, fake, fake, gruesome, sort of like, random sciencey stuff then it's a really good one to you to watch <sighs> guys this one makes me cry this one hits deep like it's called when they see us it's basically um a documentary yeah like a film based on the documentary in the real life of the central park jogging case every episode you're literally like in tears like no no it's not fair la, 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 and teaches you about race teaches you about discrimination teaches about like the whole flipping american justice system as a whole it is messed up like it is so discombobulated we have 13 reasons why okay so basically there's a girl called hannah baker and she dies and she's left like tapes so like sort of like i would say suicide i would say suicide notes so it's kind of like deep but it's basically she tells a story as to what sort of like every person did to her which led her to do something so like crazy i'm not gonna spoil it but it is very deep very emotional but it's honestly one of the best things again that netflix has brought out because it's it teaches you a lot like it teaches you to be kind to people um that like bullying exists type of thing next we have all from black this is also like another like sciencey kind of like messed up one and i'm just here for it basically there's clones of this one person called sarah like everywhere like dotted around um sort of america and boy oh boy oh boy it is crazy it's so messed up but it's so good guys when i say this is probably one of the best films you ever watch yeah it's called what's happened to monday if you've already watched it you know why i'm hyping over this it is insane yeah guys this is very similar to that all from black and the whole idea of black clones basically there's like seven sisters yeah seven sisters and each sister is called a day of the week so monday tuesday wednesday you get you get the vibe and um basically they're only allowed out when it's their day of the week because it's in a horrible country it is, but basically you, you're not allowed siblings like you literally it's like the chinese thing where it's um the one child policy almost so basically they had to be hidden so 
one child goes out one day of the week and then in everyone's eyes there's only one of them because they all look alike so tell me why monday leaves now goes on her little she goes to work blah blah blah, blah and she doesn't come home so obviously tuesday wednesday thursday i like yeesh where's my sister so monday's missing someone has to go on when it's not their day cool they go and they go missing they're thinking bamba everyone's just disappearing and then it's just mad it's just intense it's like um like a thrill ass, kind of scary, kind of gruesome. I'm, I'm here for it though. I've watched it about four times and I don't get bored. That's how you know it's a good film. So next we have something for you church lovers and all of that jazz. Um, it's called Green Leaf. The family's just full of lies, sins, greed, everything. And it's just everything that you wouldn't expect such a big church to be involved in. And that's why it's so good because it's just such a twist to it. You're just thinking, no way he's cheating. No way he's gonna rob the church. <laughs> and what happens? Cheats and robs the church. You have to watch it, guys, honestly. The next we have on my blog, and it's another like Netflix original. I can't even explain what this is about, but it's just like a group of kids, like teenagers, and their friendship group, and then their lives are just very discombobulated. If some people like it, some people think, what is the point of the show? I liked it, I finished it, and yeah. Okay, so next we have a top boy, which is like a British series. It's basically to do like London drug dealers and <laughs> in like North London, it's like in a state and they're just all discombobulated and it's just... Okay, next we have is Power. Yeah, guys, Power is one of the ones that is just an original. Like, if you haven't watched Power, what are you doing? It's not very PG, but we love to see it. We love to see it and it's a really good show. Um, it's interesting. Some of the characters, you just look at them like, are you stupid? It's worth a watch. And this is called Seven Seconds. The way the show goes, it's not like, it's like a story time. And I promise you, oh, your heart breaks. You literally, there's some episodes you'll just, to be honest, the whole, every single episode you cry. Where emotions run wild in the series, yeah, you don't even understand. Like, oh, my heart breaks. But it's a good one and you should watch it. Okay, last but not least, we have All About the Washingtons, Family Reunion, and Marlon. I basically put them all together because it's kind of like all the same type of vibe. It's like, it's, it's you call it a sitcom. It's basically live, live acting. You know when you're acting, there's like the crowd at the back and then it's like, they're laughing, but because we're watching it, we hear laughter, but it's actually real life people laughing. You kind of learn things from it. It's like American families. It's kind of like cringe, but it's funny. Um, it's just one of the ones where it's just an episode to watch, a series to watch, and all three of them are honestly hilarious. Like, you literally sit there busting up like the whole time. Okay, guys, so that is at the end of this video. And, guys, make sure you have subscribed because if you haven't, baby girl, what are you doing on my channel? Like, what are you even doing here? Make sure you do subscribe, and I'll be back soon for a brand new one. Bye, guys.